How dare you try to damage my clinical practice? How dare you throttle open honest debate about the care of our youth? I couldn't let this drive-by shitting, this gross smear to my professionalism and character, go unchallenged. I decided, hence this essay. I returned to the scene of my quote-unquote crime under the cover of darkness, meaning that I opened a new anonymous Twitter account and clicked my way back to the relevant threads. I discovered a gleeful post-mortem taking place amongst those who had buried me in vitriol, akin to a gang of loathsome schoolyard bullies high-fiving after beating up their latest victim. They were celebrating their power in driving me off of Twitter. And this is exactly what it is. Any Anytime they're able to use their fear to shut someone up, to run someone off of a platform that they believe they need to be in control of, they celebrate it. They celebrate another victory of using fear to control people. And this is this is why I've talked about previously, the Kiwi Farms fight is so important. They, they are fighting like a last bastion of trying to get censorship on the internet based on ideology. No matter what you think about how terrible like some of the shit that goes on there is, if that website is taken down because of insolent fucking ideologues and activists, the gates are open. The gates are absolutely open after that. They will come for you eventually. I don't like doxing. I don't like some of the stuff that they do there. But like, it's important that they don't get completely removed from the internet. And I think that's something that most people with functional rationality could agree on. They're like, we did it! We got rid of the, the bigoted transphobe site! And it's like, what do you mean? They've been documenting strange people online since before transgender was even a phrase that we talked about openly. Kiwi Farms doesn't let doxing stay up. They do have some basic rules. It depends. I know they do have some basic rules. Kiwi is forever. It will never die. Yeah. And I know, I know, I know Jersh tries to hard wrangle people. He's like, if you're going to do glow shit, don't do it fucking here. Don't, don't make me maintain this forum be even harder than it actually is. Don't be a terrible person. You probably won't have to worry about the farms. I mean, not necessarily true. I would say if you, typically if you have your own thread, you're probably too far gone, right? If you have your own thread, some shit's probably happened. Probably, probably fucking happened, right? Activists have been trying to take down 4chan for like 10 years. Clyde Fair won't budge. Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a bit of a difference between the two websites, though. Certain creators' docs are uh, still up, though a lot of details is questionable. I mean, I don't like getting into that stuff on Kiwi, because it's like, I don't, I don't like, I don't like that part of the site, obviously. I don't, I don't like that they do that, but it's like, again, for, for internet, for internet freedom of speech reasons, 